what is going on everybody silver scrounger here and today i got a few things to talk about one is we are finally getting back into the shop if you don't know what i mean by that what happened is i don't even know a month and a half ago a city water main uh pipe busted right outside of our shop dns precious metals and it flooded out the shop these are just some of the pictures from when that happened and you can see it just it washed in a bunch of silt and of course water but it was a complete disaster it just happened uh real quick ended up with and in some parts of the shop almost six inches of water in it so we've been kind of operating at a very uh, reduced scale, I guess you can call it, uh, out of a neighboring shop's, uh, well, shop. <laughs> but they've been gracious enough to let us do so, and it's been, it's been helping out. But we finally are to the point where we're getting ready to get back into our shop. And this is uh about what it looks like because i went in today we went in today to uh do a lot of work to get it all fixed up and and try to set up again and this is what we were up to well looks like we're gonna be open on monday which is tomorrow what is that july 1st yes awesome that there's David, of course. Yes, doing all the work. <laughs> Look at this. We got brand new carpet in here, brand new walls. We are setting everything up. We are dealing with all the mess. Got to sort it all out. All brand new carpeting everywhere, except for back here. It's all tile. So we got a lot of work to do today to open up tomorrow. So. A lot of work I mean we had to get all that stuff that you saw in that uh, quick clip we had to get all that stuff out of one of those uh, big container boxes that you rent you know the uh, I don't remember what the name of the things are but uh, basically they drop it off you load it up and either they can take it away for storage or they leave it on site either way but uh we left it on site so all of our stuff that was in the shop stayed inside of there and uh we had to get all that emptied out and put back into the shop and we just did it in a quick hurry didn't really uh pay no attention really to where it was all going so that's why you saw all the mess as i called it i think uh, everywhere in there and now this is at the close of the day when we were finally finished for today at least because man it was a long hot day but this is where we are at at the moment and tomorrow morning uh, we're gonna get it set up the rest of the way and be ready to open by 11 a.m. so that's really cool it's still going to be at a reduced capacity we're not going to be doing the jewelry still uh we do have coins and uh bullion that we're going to be setting up we are still going to be able to buy jewelry and scrap and all that but we won't have it set up yet so but anyway this is what it looked like after we did all the cleanup all right there's our hours again once we start opening up again tomorrow monday all the work we did today it is a lot cleaner in here now carpet looks good still got a set up for the jewelry that's going to take a, another week or two but we will be open for coins so tomorrow monday july 1st and it's been a long day been busy busy so I'm going to cut it out and 
show you all again tomorrow what we look like once we're set up so that was a pretty good improvement i think it looks a lot better uh the new carpet looks really great the uh the walls are all nicely done um i just can't wait to be able to get it fully set up we do have some new display cases coming so that's why we have the ones that are in there right now set up the way they are we're waiting to get the new display cases in and then we'll be able to start getting the jewelry set up again so it's going to be uh still another couple of weeks to get fully set back up again and then we got the back offices that still need a lot of uh, attention, I guess you can call it. So, but it is feeling great to be back in the shop and uh, be able to spread out a little bit again. And yeah, so tomorrow, August 1st, I think in my short video, in that little video I just showed at the beginning, I said July 1st, it's August 1st. But we will be open for business, and that is a great thing. So hopefully anybody that's in the area will see you there. Now, some other things is over the weekend, I did get some pickups. I got a little bit of mail call. I got a little bit of stuff from another coin shop, and I just couldn't resist. And, uh, and yeah, so let's see what we got here. First off, I picked up from... Uh, another local coin shop six dollars and fifty cents in junk silver i only got that much because that's how much cash i had on me at the time he had a really great deal going on him on it so i couldn't pass it up i spent every dollar i had in my pocket and that's what i was able to get all quarters and dimes so that's pretty cool then my mail call I got this beautiful one right here. Come on. It does not want to pick it up. All right. 1884 Carson City in an MS-62. Look at that. That's a pretty one. Nice Carson City. Nice graded Carson City. Come on. Beautiful coin. Let me see if I can zoom in and get it to focus on it. There we go. Beautiful coin. I haven't really had too many Carson Cities. And I don't think I've had any graded before. So this is the first. Of course, I'm not keeping this one. It's going to be up for sale. So... I've also got some uh, some nice Rattlers, 1885-0, oh, they were all the same year, all the same grade, so yeah, got a bunch of Rattler Morgan dollars, so that's pretty cool, all MS-63s, and then I got, I had to get them, I just had to get them, <laughs> The uh, 2023 Morgan Dollar and Peace Dollar. These ones are pretty nice. They look good. Um, some people have said that there's been some flaws in them. Like, actually, there might be a spot right on the cheek right there, but it's not bad at all. So, I got the Morgan and the Peace Dollar, so that's pretty cool. So that's, uh, that's just about everything I got for you today. Happy to be back in the shop. Can't wait to be able to show you guys what it looks like when we're fully set up again. And uh, back up and running. So I'm going to get out of here and enjoy the rest of my Sunday. It's uh, getting close to dinner time. So I'm going to spend some time with the family and everything since I've been gone all day. Hopefully you all have a good rest of your Sunday and I'm gonna get out of here so this is Silver Scrounger saying thanks for watching and keep on stacking and collecting